I have hit a milestone today. The shop, the podcast studio is finished. Finished enough to call it finished. There is a video up on my other channel, Washita Mountain Living. Uh, I show everything that I finished today. We're calling it good. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, for those of you who have never seen my channels, uh, Washita Mountain Living is my main channel. I do a lot of builds. I bought a piece of property 10 years ago for $10,500. It was in satin ruins, and I have been working on it ever since. I have added additions. Uh, I gutted the whole place. Uh, all the videos are on my other channel. If you'd like to go check that out, uh, they're there. They're there, and I've been doing YouTube over there for about three years now. Actually, it was three years. Actually, it's been a lot longer than three years, but... None of the older videos can be shown due to copyrights because they didn't have all that in the day back in 2011, 12, 13. So that's what's on there is probably mostly the last three years. Uh, actually, I even took some of the older ones down that were terrible. <laughs> you know, when you start a new channel, you're, you're, you're inexperienced. You don't have good video equipment. The sound could be terrible. There's just, you know, it's, you got to pay your dues. You got to earn those things. You have to learn from all your mistakes. And it is, it is quite the learning experience, but you know, don't be afraid to start a channel because you don't have those skills. They will come to you. I promise you, if your heart is in it, You'll learn how to edit videos. You'll learn uh, where to put music in a video, when not to put music in a video, how loud to put music in a video. You will learn those things. It, you know, your, your subscribers will tell you, hey, man, that music was so loud, I couldn't hear nothing you were saying. I've done that. And even, even now, sometimes, uh, you know, you mess up. You know, you're, we're human. You mess up. You just, you keep going. Uh, I think one of the most rewarding, I guess this podcast is going to be about doing YouTube. I don't know. See how I roll. I guess one of the most rewarding things about doing a YouTube channel. Uh, let me get a drink of tea here, guys. Is you get to record your life uh, projects, you know, I wish, I wish I had video of when I first bought this place and all the work, the work was crazy. Uh, but I don't, I have a lot of, I took photographs. At least I took photographs, but like this shop. Okay. I've got video from the day I picked it out. I, I actually have video of this very shop sitting on the lot uh, 60 miles away when I picked it out and then I've got video of it being delivered, insulating it and doing every little project until it is finished. Uh, and that's cool. And, and I have found, uh, sometimes you want to redo something or, or, you know, I'll go back to my videos if I can't remember, well, where did I run this electrical line? Well, I'll go back to where I built it and I can see where it is. You know, it takes the guesswork out and especially what I'm doing now, losing weight, it's going to be really interesting. Uh, I, and I will be doing probably within the next month or two, I will be doing my final video on losing weight when I reach my goal and I'm going to pull a lot of these old video clips out where I looked my worst because I I've been watching some of them and I'm like, why didn't I see that back? You know, why couldn't I see it myself? How horrible I looked my color. Uh, I just looked tired because well, I was tired. And so, you know, it's, it's good to be able to go back, especially when you've accomplished things, uh, and such as weight loss, 
that's going to be so cool to go back and, you know, I, I would like to be an inspiration to people to lose weight themselves. And I can tell them, Hey man, go back and look six months. Look at me then. Do you, you know, I, I wasn't even thinking of this, how I could look later. And, uh, you know, it's, it's still, even though on carnivore, you lose weight pretty quickly, it's still not a fast process. Uh, I'm at a stage where it's slowed down a little and I've actually been eating less. So, but we're not going to discuss that on this topic or this podcast today, but that is one of the things about you doing YouTube. That's nice. You can go back and do that. Now, if you have family in other States or family that, you know, is not really close by, well, they can keep up with you. You know, they can keep up with what you're doing. They, how you're, how you look, you know, how it is when you haven't seen a relative in two or three years, five years or, or however long. And then when you finally see them, we go, you, you know, you're kind of shocked because they've aged, they might've gained weight. They might've lost weight, but this way your family can keep up with what you're doing. I don't think any of my family watches my channel. So I, I, don't, know. I don't know why they would. But it's, it's nice, uh, and it's, you know, it's leaving a, a document. It's documenting your life, however many years you're doing it. It's leaving a document that will probably be around way past your death. You know, we don't, if, you, if you opt to leave your channel up, which I don't know if I will or not, but it'll be there. Why not? You know, I think that would be cool that your grandkids 50 years later could watch you. Um, that, that was something that we did not have as an option. Uh, the best we had was home movies on eight millimeter film. And through the years, all of those that my family had is been lost. Uh, I got a few clips, not very many. They've been put on CD ROM. Can't even play those anymore. But it would be nice if, you know, I could go back to see my grandfathers in World War II, uh, to see them my age, younger than me. That would be neat to watch. And so maybe my sons can, they, you know, when they're my age, they'll be able to see me. And, you know, it's just one of them things that's, it's never happened before because we haven't had the technology, but now we do. So, and you can, you can start a YouTube channel and make your videos private. A lot of people don't even think of that. You do not have to put your videos out to the world. You can, you can save your videos as unlisted or private. Now, if you save them as in unlisted, you can share the link to your family and they're the only ones that can view it. You know, of course, they're not going to be monetized, but if, if you don't care about that, you can still record videos and put them on YouTube where nobody will ever see them other than the people you designate to watch them. So that's something for grandparents to consider because everybody has a cell phone. So why don't you start making a video diary for your grandkids future? And, you know, a lot of people have trust issues with putting things online. I can understand that. But if you record them and put them on there as unlisted, nobody else will ever see them. You can give them the per the links to each video, or I believe the links to your channel. I, I don't know. I don't do it that way, but your videos are there and you know, they're there for the future. But that's just something came to the top of my head. You know, if, if you're not into going out, putting your story out to the world. Well, do it for your family. And there's other formats you could do that with as well. I mean, you could, you could save them to your computer and put them on a, an SD card. I don't know, but I think on YouTube, they're, they're not going anywhere. You know, I don't think YouTube's going to go out of business tomorrow. They're going to be there. It is a, it is probably one of the biggest corporations in the world now. I mean, you got, you could not imagine how many 
billions of dollars they have to pay every month and they're making it you know youtube's not we're not getting 50 percent uh youtube's keeping a good share uh they're keeping a little more than that and so they're they're making their money you know it's their it's their backyard so they they started the channel or the the website whatever you want to call it so you know the fact we make anything is good so i don't know you know i can i i look at it this way if i died tomorrow i could care less i could care less about my videos being up still after i'm dead i don't care i don't worry about things like that uh, if you you go through life worried about yeah, all your privacy and all oh, they're gonna see this and that you're just adding stress to your life that you know is unnecessary uh just be carefree but be careful carefree but be careful i should make a bumper sticker i'm carefree but i'm careful yep all right well i gotta get back in there rooster oh she's so mad at me right now apparently i woke up about two this morning i i remember waking up at two this morning you know how it is you got to go to the bathroom well she wanted out and so when i woke up this morning at six she was still outside fortunately it, the weather was cool but she was fine. She's been doing that lately. She refuses to come in, and I got to bribe her with a treat. I ain't doing that every time, but she's fine. And ain't, you know, she couldn't go anywhere. She's got her own yard. She stays on the porch. It's happened before. Uh, it's not the end of the world. And it wasn't bitter cold. Now, that that would really have been bad if it was bitter cold out or, so, or 200 degrees out. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Uh, check out my other channel. You can go back and check out some of my old podcasts. Uh, there are some old videos on this. I think I think I left them up. But uh, we got Dogtober coming up. I, I will put a video out on both channels every single day of October. It's called Dogtober. And all the revenue generated from those videos for the entire month I will donate 100% to my local dog rescue here, and there'll be a video on that. So thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one. Happy trails.